Greetings folks, what I'm going to show you today is the Toolkit RC M6 charger. It's a tiny, tiny little battery charger designed to charge from one battery to another battery or from your car battery to, a, to another LiPo battery or from a power source to a battery. Uh, but it also works as a servo checker, a variable power source for hot wire cutting or something like that. Looking at some of the specs, uh, input voltage 7 to 28 volts, maximum 12 amps. Uh, can handle a fair bit of current for a little charger. 150 watt charge power, USB connection as well. All right, so let's open it up. Little instruction manual there. Very good. Got a USB cable here, USB. USB with the same ends. Let's peel the cover off so we get a nice good view. There we go. It's such a small little charger. Perfect for just chucking in your kit and not taking up any space. So input 7 to 28 volts uh, XT60 and there's a USB input there, 5 volts, 2.1 amps and a servo connection there, three pin DuPont connection, balance port connection, uh, XT60 output, fan and we've got little legs on the back as well. So that sits up nicely like that. All right, let's see what we can do. Of course, you need to plug it in. Uh, I have a big uh, 3S5000 there uh, as my input. So that's the back button, that's the selection buttons, that's the OK button. You don't touch the screen, it's these uh, buttons on the side there. Measure output settings, let's look at charger. So we've got LiPo at, you can put in different battery profiles as well. If you want to have a like a, a nickel metal hydride permanently set up, you can set that up there. Uh, press OK to add a battery, long press to delete a battery. You've got two, uh, three different slots there, I suppose. Uh, so if we want to go and charge a LiPo, we need to find a LiPo that needs charging. So let's have a look at this uh, 2S2200. Plug the balance port in there as well. Should be good to go. Charge to 8.4 volts, okay, there we go. And it chugs away doing its bit, that's good. It's a perfect little charger for uh, charging small batteries from big batteries out in the field, or even if you had the right connector, you could connect it up to your car battery and, and charge whatever you wanted. Uh, it gives you the individual cell voltage there, wattage, milliamp hours, percentage charged, it's all very good. Let's get out of that. Also do discharge and storage charge. That's all very good. Typical charger stuff. We can change this, the sort of battery in this profile or in each profile. So you can go through all the different sorts of batteries. Excellent. Get out of that. Measurer. Now we can measure battery voltage. There we go. Internal resistance. Voltage again. Let's test the internal resistance. There we get the values there. That's all cool. Uh, you can also measure PWM output, PPM output, and S bus output. I'll demonstrate them in a minute. They're pretty cool. Uh, you can get out of that. Uh, you can use it as a sort of a variable power supply as well with this uh, this big bit battery in this side. Get rid of that one. You can vary the battery output. Don't know what they are. But I guess you can use this as a variable power supply for something like a a hot wire cutter or something like that. I don't know what those uh, DJI outputs are. Maybe they're for charging them or powering them. I don't know really. 
I want to measure, say, PWM from a receiver. Uh, I have a receiver here. We plug into the DuPont connector there, plug into one of the PWM outputs on the receiver. It actually powers the receiver. I'll turn my transmitter on. Transmitter's on, so piss OK. So I'm wiggling the uh, elevator stick there. I plug it into uh, channel 2 on the receiver, and that's showing me the output. That's pretty cool. That's what I'm doing there. Excellent. Let's try S bus. I'll plug this into the S bus connector on the transmitter. And ah, there's all the S bus outputs as well. That's pretty cool. Excellent. That all works well. Alright, so now let's try it as a PWM output. So what we do here is plug a receiver in. Don't need that anymore. So I'm plugging a receiver in. Bit fiddly to plug this in. There we go. PWM, OK. And... It sort of simulates a uh, servo tester. That's manual. Change the... There we go. That's changing the... Uh, PW, but PWM pulse width. And seeing what it does to the servo. Do it individually. You can get the little graph of the pulse width there as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. Excellent. So it's a pretty versatile little unit, nice and small, uh, nicely featured, works as a servo tester or a uh, variable power supply or a charger or a discharger or all those sorts of things. Very nice indeed. Toolkit RC M6 Smart Charger. Thanks for watching.